So you want to become a developer. You still don't know which is the right way for you, which career path should you go on, which type of skills you should learn. In this video, I want to go and give you guys a little bit of my story and how I chose my own path as a developer. All right, guys, this is your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again one more time. Make sure you like this video and show me some love in the comment section. Oh yeah, and subscribe. <laughs> All right, so you saw the thumbnail, right? What does that even mean? You see me on one side and then you see the zombie hordes on, on the other side. Basically, what I'm saying with that is there's two paths. You can go the path where everyone else goes or you can make your own path. For example, you could go through the path of like, hey, I'm going to college, getting a degree. From there, I'm doing an internship. Then from there, I'm actually learning some of the skills that is quote unquote high demand for uh, big companies, right? Fang, right? Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Apple, Google, etc. And you go that route. That's a safe route. That's a very, very safe route. At least that's what we was told before, right? But now we know better. <laughs> People have been getting laid off. Companies have hiring freeze, this, this, and that, right? So yeah, it's just a regular job, just like anything else. Now, one thing that I decided to do was I'm going to go the other way. Everybody's going to the right. I'm going to the left. I'm going to do a Euro step. Okay. Pivot. And the reason why I do that is because I learned a long time ago, even before I got into the tech industry, that I don't want to work for somebody. I want to have control of my own destiny. Okay. Even though as your own boss, right, you kind of work more than the average person, but guess what? You make more money and you have more control of your destiny. That's the truth. So I learned those things before I even became a developer just by having bullshit jobs, a whole bunch of bullshit jobs you could think of, right? Everything from like driving a car to doing deliveries to freaking working in a warehouse, working in a daycare, a supermarket. Like I've done every bullshit job you could think of, right? Um, but I learned back then that being here and just working for someone else and someone else giving me their crumbs, it wasn't the right move for me. Because guess what? I want to go bigger. I have bigger dreams and goals in life. And me being part of the assembly line, it just didn't make sense. And this is something that you got to ask yourself. Are you comfortable with being part of the assembly line, being part of the zombie horde. That's the safe route. That's where everybody goes. And there's a reason why everybody goes that way, because it's much easier in a sense. Now, going this path that I went on, right, which is, hey, I'm not going to go and try to go into FANG. I'm not going to go and try to work at, you know, the top paying companies. I'm going to go to the companies that I can actually learn skills. So when I build my business, I leave with those skills. Now, I've always been interested in e-commerce. I've always been interested in selling products, creating products, the process of researching a product. For me, even when I worked at companies, the best part was when we had conversations with the design team. I wasn't the guy that was like, I'm excited to talk about, you know, what's faster, or for loop or wild loop, or should we be using Rackspace, GoDaddy, AWS, uh, Namecheap? Like, I don't care about that. Should we be on Next.js? I don't care about that, right? What I care about is actually creating things and, and, and building things and solving problems. Now, the question of which one should you choose, to be honest with you, only you can answer that. Which route makes more sense for you? You know, some people just want to go to work and, and mind their own business and then, you know, get the little promotion every three to four years. And, you know, when they lay them off, they go and get another job. Right. And that's it. You go from job to job and continue doing the same thing. And shoot, one day you'll retire and, you know, you'll be old and you have your 401k. But some of us, we want more. We want to have the challenge of being able to build our own business. We want to have skills that if we go to a company, those skills, we could actually transfer over to our bigger picture, which is our own business or our own ideas, services, products, whatever it might be. Right. So we're going to go the other way. Now, it's funny. We're starting to see more people choosing not hopping on the zombie horde nowadays. Okay. We're seeing that. And we're even seeing people that work on the zombie horde. And then they're like, 
yeah, you know what? This shit hasn't really play, played out how I wanted it. And I think it's time for me to start going a different route. I mean, we're seeing a lot of people, you know, create new software as a service, new microservices, which is hilarious. Now everyone calls like niche websites um, and microservices, micro software as a service, <laughs> which is hilarious to me. Um, yeah, because we've been doing that since like 2011, building niche websites. Uh, a lot of you guys have seen me talk about this uh, for a long time. But yeah, it's just basically the process of, of building a website that's solving one specific problem, right? And it could be either a site, a blog, or a tool. Again, y'all seen me talk about this for years. This is what I do. Um, by the way, if you want to learn how to do things like that, right? And you want to learn how to code with a purpose, definitely click on the link on the description. Check out codingphase.com, which is my platform. For the last seven years, we've been helping people get into the tech industry and also to learn skills that they can actually go in and monetize for themselves. Again, go check it out. But yeah, a lot of people are now deciding to go the other way. They're not trying to go the zombie horde route, right? Like they're trying to do their own thing, right? And creating their own businesses and, and building, right? Building uh, without having to just be for a bigger company. It's just like, hey, I'm just building an app. Hey, I'm just putting a service out there. And guess what? Oh, shoot. This thing is bringing me in $10,000 extra. Oh, great. <laughs> I'm not going to complain, right? So yeah, so people are, are choosing the other way. But again, going back to what I said, you have to choose this yourself. What is it that you want to do? What is it that you want to get out of this career? But you have to make the right decision because you can't waste time. Um, sometimes you might choose the wrong path. And later on, when you try to pivot, it might be too late or you just wasted so many years out of your life going that route. So you have to really pay attention to this early on. What is it that you want? Because trust me, even if you work at a big company and you get all your little Pokemon badges, right? You might not be happy at the end. And that's something that you have to uh, consider um, when you go that route that might seem safe, but then in the long term, it might bite you in the ass, <laughs> like straight up. Uh, so yeah, make it the right decision early on, right? Uh, so you can actually pivot at the right time. And, and there's nothing wrong going that route, but you should also have an extra option for yourself. You should always have some type of side income. You should always pay attention to practical skills, not just the quote unquote enterprise level apps, right? Or, you know, big business, big data, like just trying to learn those skills. It's just going to keep you with the golden handcuffs and being stuck in the same rat race with other skills like practical skills that you could jump on again i talk about all of that here on this channel a lot of times so definitely subscribe um just make sure that if you're gonna go that route that you're also paying attention to the practical skills don't be that guy that it's on this side and looking down at the practical skills. And then five to 10 years later, you're like now, like most of these guys that are scrambling to come up with ideas. It's like, I can't figure out an idea to create an app, right? <laughs> I can't figure out how to get clients or customers, but I'm a great engineer and they're struggling. You don't want to be that guy, right? And that's because they only focus on one thing, which is Hey, just working for those type of companies and the type of skills that is fitting for those companies. They never paid attention to everything that was happening outside of it. Just keep that in mind so you don't regret it later on. All right, guys. Anyways, man, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Go check out the links in the description. Check out Coding Phase. Okay. If you want to go in, just check it out. See what we provide there. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys around. Take care.